what we're going to do here is have Derek and me on the guard position here. If you pull him in close enough and you're able to trap the arm, the opposite hand's going to grab down the wrist. This hand's going to cup it here. The goal is to try to get this in control because we want to finish off with this arm bar. Now, if I just have it here and I just keep my body center and kill this position, if he's strong, he'll just slide his elbow back, right? And then I don't really have a whole lot. So if, you, if he starts sliding the elbow out or here, I want to try to pop it up. So I might put the hands, feet here on his ankles or on the floor, but I do a little pop and I get it more center, I could get recontrol. So anytime they're sliding it off to the side, you want to try to get his elbow closer to your center line. So this kind of matches closer to my sternum, my xiphoid process area, this way here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to unravel this foot. Here it's going to post like the butterfly. The knee, you want to get this knee to be nice and tight because this also helps keep control of this arm here. And then we start to work it from here. What I want to do is I want to try to get in a position so I have the same leg that's going to go over his head. If I stay straight, like right now, it can't go over his head. You can also use your hands to kind of push the head away if you need to, and or you can kind of buck the leg back. Because when we're in that butterfly guard, I have good leverage to push him back. If I get him over here and I have this locked in, I want to take the other leg and bite down. So I'm biting down on his traps. The side on the outside, which is going to be my right leg, it kind of limits this hand here and kind of allows it to kind of cross over easy. But it's hard for him to pull back and to try to regain position. This one also bites down. I don't want to push away because if I push away, he's gaining leverage points on me. And I don't want to be pulling him too much into me either because then he'll come this direction and stack me. So rather than pulling him this way or pushing him that way, the bite's going to go directly down. If he starts to pull again the elbow, I just buck him. And once you buck the hips up, it kind of leverages out and, and locks out his elbow again. His thumb's facing to the sky side and I'm biting down tightly, I lift up the hips, and he or she will tap. We'll do the same thing from the other side. So I might have to pull him in, or her in. I take this, I take my wrist, and I cup it over. I'm in this position. In a street fight, he's gonna throw punches too, so you gotta be aware that this is happening here. But again, this is available. If he can punch you, you can punch him. It's kind of the rule of thumb. If he can bite you, you can bite him. So just be aware of that at all times. So I have it here, if he slides the elbow down more, right? I can kind of buck it and get it back to the center and readjust as needed. It's hard to get this leg all the way over, right? So we're gonna put it, preset it right at the hips like a butterfly. I'm gonna suck in those inner thighs. I'm gonna suck in the inner thigh here, right? If he has the hand on the outside, again, in a street fight, you also have these uh, elbows to the jaw as well. If he has the elbows in, right, and you suck it in, then we have a cross grip here. So what we're gonna do is now that I'm working on his left arm, it's my right leg that's tucking in. I bucked him and I centered him out. I take my outside hand over here, which is my right hand, and I can kind of push him in this position here. Sometimes you wanna kind of keep control of this arm. So if you need to, don't, if you think you're losing it, keep control of the arm first. Once you know you have a solid tightness of your inner thighs and your wrist, then just push it over, come over here. A lot of times you'll need to move the hips a little bit this one slides down, you're biting down this leg, you're biting down this, we're not pushing that way, we're not pulling, we're going straight down, we're lifting the hips up, and there's your finish. Practice that.